Should you study a data science undergraduate to become a data scientist? As I walked across the stage to get my degree, the answer became abundantly clear. No. No, you should not. And it's not about the cost and it's not about going self-taught. It's because I accidentally stumbled across the most effective way to become a data scientist. And I will share that with you in this video. This route will not only make you more employable right now, it will condense three years of learning into one and mean that you outrank people who studied a full bachelor's degree in the job market. But what are my issues with the traditional three-year undergrad approach to data science? When universities make these courses, they have to try and predict the future. So if you're to start a course in 2024, a three-year course, they would have to predict what skills will be valuable in 2027. If there's anything you should have learned over the last couple of years, it's that technology changes exponentially. While the fundamentals of being a great data scientist don't change too much, everything outside of that evolves so quickly that there is a risk you end up studying a bunch of outdated material during that three years and end up falling further and further behind. When I was finishing my dissertation, GPT-3 and LLMs were just becoming all of the rage and I wanted to put down everything else I had going on and throw myself fully into these technologies. But guess what? I had a dissertation to do. There was no time to do anything else but complete this write-up which in the grand scheme of things will help me a lot less than learning these new technologies. Traditional degrees essentially have that same problem. They take up all your mental bandwidth. So for three years it's almost impossible to pursue anything outside of going to lectures, doing your take-home assignments and your dissertation. So that's a three-year period where you can't fully dig into your data science interests and instead have to follow this curriculum which might be outdated. But the biggest sin of studying data science at undergrad and then doing the same thing at master's levels is this. Imagine you are the hiring manager at Adobe. You are looking to hire a new data scientist and your final two candidates consisted of a guy who studied data science at undergrad and master's levels but doesn't really give a crap about photography, videography or whatever else Adobe sells. The second candidate worked within the photography industry for a year or two and knows the biggest players in that industry. He knows what sells, what doesn't and the law around Adobe but they've only somewhat recently transitioned into data science. Which one of these is more appealing? A three-year data science degree even with a master's layered on top of it means that you're a data scientist and not much else outside of that. That's perfectly okay if the company you apply to is a data science company that sells data science services. But most of us will actually end up working in an unrelated field that just needs a data scientist to improve their performance. And people with a wider range of knowledge will stand out in these cases. So the most useful thing you can do is not study a data science undergrad. But imagine you instead had a way to gain a wider range of knowledge to make you more employable, learn a lot more relevant data skills quicker, and I'll rank those people with the three-year degree. That's exactly what I did by getting a conversion masters. A conversion course is a masters that takes people from non-technical backgrounds and essentially condenses a three-year undergraduate degree into a one-year, admittedly very intense, master's degree. The advantages of these are numerous. Long term, the least important advantage is that the course is one year instead of three, so of course you're going to save some money there. Secondly, when you get the degree, despite the fact that you only studied it for one year, you'll still have the MSc in front of your name instead of BSc. <laughs> and a lot of jobs will just prefer the guy with the masters. That just makes you eligible for all the same jobs as the undergrad guys, but also jobs that require a minimum of a masters. The two most important factors, however, are these. So remember how for undergraduate degrees, universities have to predict three years into the future. For a conversion masters, that time horizon is essentially cut down into nine months to one year. And the landscape is much less likely to change drastically in that time period. And because they have such a short time span to teach you all of the fundamentals, they have to cut out all the fluff and literally teach you what are the skills this person needs to know to be employable as a data scientist in one year. Put simply, you go in, learn the essentials, get the official university qualification, which still does hold some weight and you get out. But more importantly, you have the opportunity to develop range. You have the opportunity not to be some guy who only knows data science and how to essentially implement it with a manager's detailed instructions because you don't have any wider knowledge of that domain. You instead have the chance to build deep, genuine expertise in a domain for transitioning to data science. So that begs the question, what are the best undergrads to study before this? I think there are two approaches. 
and the first two are probably more boring but a lot safer. The first is to study a maths undergrad and then data science. It will mean that when you do get to the conversion course, the maths component is pretty simple for you, allowing you to focus more just on the coding. More importantly, once you graduate, you will be the ideal candidate for maths heavy data science roles because you already have deep proven knowledge in that regard. The other boring option is studying software engineering, then getting into data science. Again, it means in the masters, the coding element is pretty much taken care of and you only have to worry about the math really. And more importantly, on the job, it means you're much more likely to know how to deploy your data science solutions into production and have a thorough understanding of elements like APIs, version control, and that sort of a thing. But I think the most valuable approach might be picking a domain that you are genuinely interested in and going hard at that. That is because 99% of industries need data scientists. But while they can find a generic data scientist pretty easily, it's hard to find one with an intimate knowledge of their domain. Like in my case, a data scientist who knows about sports science is pretty rare. So when these jobs do come up, I'm closer to the front of the queue. So you can either go more passion led and study what you genuinely enjoy, if that field is also in need of data science, knowing that you'll then have the conversion masters on top of that. Or if all you care about is money, first of all, you disgust me, but just go study finance and then a data science conversion and then you'll be raking in the money, trust me. But if you are curious whether you can handle the intensity of a conversion masters, I summarized my entire degree in about 10 minutes in this video right here.